Hey everyone, my name is Soundkiller and I'm here with Black Lotus Audio. Today I'm going to be making a mid-tempo drop using our new free vital pack. I've put a link down in the description below. So without talking any longer, let's get into making some mid-tempo. So to start, I always like to lay out the drums first. It helps give a nice foundation when working with the drop and it also helps things flow together when I actually get to adding the basses. So I'm just gonna go here and drag a kick. I'm gonna search for a snare here. This one's very airy and I really like it. And I'm gonna search for a hi-hat. Mid-tempo drums are fairly simple, so this is all you need, a kick, snare, and a hi-hat. By the way, the drums I'm using are from our Horizon Drum Pack. You can find the link to Horizon in the description if you're interested in some new drum samples. So I'm just going to set the tempo here to the appropriate number. Mid-tempo usually tends to be around 100 BPM and 100 a thin. So I'm going to make this very common pattern here, which is a four on the floor kick pattern with a snare on every second beat, followed very a very fast hi-hat rhythm. I'm just going to go here and create a little groove for the hi-hat so it doesn't sound repetitive. So I'm just going to now drag this pattern here into the playlist. Anyways, so now that we have this drum pattern ready, we can start throwing in some basses and make our drops. So let's open up Vital and see what we got. So now I got these four basses that I've chosen. This one needs a bit of Pitch bending, so I'm just gonna turn up the pitch so it works with my controller. So I'm just gonna start by creating this nice little pattern here. So now that I created this fun little pattern. So for this particular preset, I want to automate the pitch envelope for its parts. I'm just going to go here and create a little uh, rising effect with the pitch bend. I'm just going to give a nice variety to the sound. And I want to add a bit of automation here from this macro on this patch. So I'm just going to move this macro just a teeny bit and right click here to create an automation clip. And I'm going to go to the end and create a hold. And I want this one to be a bit more aggressive. And let's see what else we can do here.
perfect. So now we're missing a few things. I'm just going to start by routing things into the mixer here. One very important thing that we're missing is some side chain. That's always very important. So I'm just going to take these bases and create their own base bus by routing them all to the same track and creating something called a base bus here. What this base bus is going to have is some very simple effects. So I'm going to add some OTT to squish the bases just a teeny bit. Add some lights, highs and mids. I'm going to add a equalizer. So this start. So as you can see, there's a lot of mid highs. I'm just going to take that down a little bit. I'm going to take down the high end a little bit as well and clean up the low end a little bit. That's something very cool. And now I want to squish it and make it loud by adding a Maximus here. So I have a nice little preset that I'm going to show you how to make to saturate sounds in FL Studio using Maximus. I'm just going to take this dot here, raise it up all the way. I'm going to disable the, the multiband compression. So it's just a linear compressor. And I'm going to use the saturation here and the ceiling. So I'm just going to set the ceiling to negative 0.1 and 1% saturation. We can adjust this later. And now I'm gonna crank the pre-gain so that I can add more volume and more tone to the sound. So I like to set it until it barely clips. So that's around six dB. And then I like to add saturation as I go until it's to it squish tone that I like which is around 30 to 40 percent Now I'm going to take my base bus and I'm going to route it into the side chain here. I'm going to create a volume automation by using the 3D balance. So I'm just going to go and load up 3D balance. I'm going to right click here and to create a automation clip. And I'm going to create this fun little curve. I'm just going to shorten this because I want it to repeat. I'm going to take this, create a double curve, something like this. Make it a lot shorter. Yeah, this is looking pretty side chaining to me. Now I'm going to delete that automation. I'm going to show you a cool little trick that now I can repeat that automation every time the kick hits by going into automation and clicking here the channel track every time the kick hits so that it tr triggers that automation automatically using the pattern. I want the hi-hats to also be sidechain. I want to make this a bit louder, so I'm just going to EQ a little bit. Add a tiny sprinkle more of OTT, maybe like no more than 10%. And again, let's create that nice little saturation to make it very nice and loud. And there we have it, a mid-tempo drop using our free vital pack. If you guys found this video useful, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. 
so that you don't miss our uploads and remember to check out the links in the description so that you can download and start using our packs today. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was Soundkiller with Black Lotus Audio and until next time.